ready? Yep. From an offensive standpoint, what what went wrong on Saturday from your viewpoint? Oh, I mean, you know, we didn't play as well as we'd like to, obviously. And those guys are really good. We knew we'd have to go up there and execute at a very high level. And uh, if you don't do that early and get, get momentum going on offense, they can jump on people. And uh, I think they proved that. And um, they definitely humbled us. And um, just ready to get back to work today so we can get ready for Wake Forest. Coach mentioned some like communication issues. I mean, was that new install that, that caught you guys off guard, or the, the, you said receivers ran the wrong routes a couple times? And is that just part of the, the nature of the beast, or was there just communication issues with getting plays called in and guys knowing what's going on? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a loud environment, um, but you know, no excuse. Our our guys, you know, I, I believe got signals and should have executed, and you know, I should have put them in better positions to execute. So, like I said, we're trying to to move on after after that one and, and go get a win this week. How do you go about moving on from that? Is it just you know, taking, just throwing out the game film and just moving forward? Is it that simple? No, you don't throw out the game film. I mean, obviously, there's every chance to learn whether you win or or don't win. Uh, there's always a chance to learn. So you know, you correct the things that you want to get corrected, but just move on from it as quick as possible. And the best thing you can do is get on the grass, and that's that's the day to get back out here with the guys, sweat, work, and um, and have a new vision out in front of us and uh, get ready to go in. Was, was there a structured? Oh, go ahead. Someone, Coach Tagger, mentioned yesterday about maybe want to try to get the ball some more to Mario Terry. I guess when looking through at the first six games, is it something where he needs to improve on his end, or maybe there's something a situation where you guys can maybe get the ball some more? Um, I mean, it all depends on on what's going on through the flow of the game, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's he's one of our best players, and he makes sure that he touches the football. How did uh, Cole and Jawan look? I know it was limited reps. But how did they look in those in those limited reps? Um, you know, Cole played okay. You know, he um, you know was hadn't played a ton of snaps this year, right. obviously. So um, his his stamina is probably not where it needs to be. But hey, we weren't on the on the field long enough for it to really you know catch up to him either. So um, this would be another great week for him to work and, and get dialed into what Coach Clemens is teaching. Moving forward, can those guys be? Like not only part of the rotation, but starting again by the by this week or next week or this month. Yeah, I mean that's going to be up to them and the way that they practice and how we feel about them and the game plan. But absolutely, they have the ability. Yeah. Was there a structured plan for the way you guys use the quarterbacks, or was it just a feel series of series kind of decision? It was more of a feel series of series deal. Did one play better than the other? I know the numbers weren't great for either, but did you feel like one played better than the other? Uh, I, th I thought both guys were inconsistent. And um, that's, you know, they graded out that way as well. So, um, you know, and, and Clemson's defense can do that to, to an offense and a quarterback. So, um, you know, it wasn't, wasn't all on just the quarterbacks. It was on us as the coaching staff and the players. So, got to make sure we correct those things, get ready this week. Does James need to do a better job of handling the emotions in the moment, especially when things aren't going well? Um, you know, James is an emotional guy. You know, you're going to get what you see. Um, so, you know, his passion and energy, you know, I love that he's, he's passionate about the game. Um, he needs to make sure he does it in a positive way. I don't think that he ever did it in a negative way. I mean, it was a frustrating game. And you can't be out there and be smiling and be happy about what's, what's going on. So um, I understand that. He's a competitor and he wants to win. So I appreciate it. The play that he missed to Acres down the sideline, was that improvised or was that the actual play, like a wheel route with him rolling to the right? No, he improvised. Cam went out, turned the corner, and, um, you know, James – that's a throw he's, he's hit all his life. You know, he's got to make that kind of play. You're, you're coordinating the offense. You're, you're calling plays. You're the quarterback's coach, too. I mean, when you don't know, I guess, from series to series who the guy's going to be, I mean, does that pose a different challenge than knowing who the guy's going to be series to series? Uh, there's a lot of challenges involved with football. You know, so that's not that's not one challenge that's going to hold us back. There's, there's a lot of things that are involved. So, um, no, I mean, it's my job to, to move the offense and whichever quarterback's in there to, to get it done. Do you like you know, rotating quarterbacks? Does it bring anything extra to the table? I like being production, productive on offense, you know, so I don't care what kind of rotation as long as we're productive on offense. Um, so we'll, we'll continue to do what we need to do to make sure that we get that way. They obviously had their struggles la last week as well. What do you see from Wake's defense when you, when you put on the film? Uh, they played really hard. They're strong on defense. Their guys are physically strong. Uh, they run to the ball hard. Uh, they're very experienced. They got a lot of guys that have played a lot of snaps. Um, and they, they pose a lot of different threats to you. So they're good, and they're going to be hard to beat up there at night. Uh, they're playing really well. Their offense is playing really well. They're a confident football team. We've got to be, got to be um, top of our game, go up there and get a win. Is Keyshawn helping out? You kind of look toward 
DJ Matthews, Trayshawn Harrison, some of those guys a little bit more now? Yeah, both those guys are also inside receivers, so those two will get more, more of a load this week. With Tamorian, I mean, it, you talked about just it's kind of the flow of the game. It, is it bad football to force things to a guy? I mean, he's you know ultra talented and he's got a catch radius and all that kind of stuff. Is it still bad football to force things, or do you just have to keep going with, you know, your system and, and guys will be open some somewhere on, on those routes? I don't know if it's bad football. Um, you know, obviously you got to think about the players and, and ways to get guys the ball, but you know you also got to think schematically and what's best for the offense when you're dealing with all the situations involved as well. Um, so. You know, there, he was targeted, you know, quite a bit early. And, um, you know, we just weren't on the field. I don't know how many plays we had at halftime, but it wasn't very many. So, you know, you can't really spread the ball out to a lot of people when you're not on the field. What can a game like that or maybe just a run like that do for Kalen moving forward? I think uh, he's got a little more pep in his step. You know, I didn't know that that was his first touchdown. Yeah. And um, his grandmother was there to see it, so that was awesome. Um, so I think he's got a different feel for what what he can be right now. So I'm, I'm really excited for him. I think he's going to have a great week. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.